So here's the trick. This was granddad's old trick here. So your, your things like your garden, your garden shovels, your, your little hand tools and trowels and different things that, are, that you just kind of keep outside that get neglected and you know, they get that coating of rust on them. And then they just don't work very well. You know, that, there's a lot of friction with the rust. It's nice to keep things oiled up, but who's got the time to do all of that? So you take a five gallon bucket or anything that you have and you fill it up with sand. I've got just some coarse sand right there that we got down to the local river. And then uh, if you change your own oil, make sure you save the engine oil in uh, whatever containers you have. I keep like bar oil uh, containers and stuff. And so when I change the oil on my rigs, uh, I save that. I use it for, it's a great treat, treatment for wood to waterproof or rot proof wood for fence posts or different things you want to use. But you're going to take about a gallon of this per five gallons and you're going to pour that oil right over top of that sand. Doesn't matter what type of oil, synthetic, regular, anything. This doesn't make transmission, ATF, pour that in there. I know it looks like a lot, but it's gonna sift down in there. You'll see here. Take your shovel and, and work that in a little bit. Now a gallon might be, might be a little bit too much. I think that's what I typically do there. So work that in. Let's stick with a half gallon there. Mix it in. Once we get it mixed in there, it's not gonna be sloppy. So I think what happened is I used a gallon of oil on a five gallon bucket. That's what I previously used. I've never used one of these, uh, these here. I don't think these are, well, maybe they are five gallons, but start with a half a gallon, it's enough. So here's the deal. So you have this in your garden shed or at or, or near, you can use these uh, with the detergent because they have a lid on them, uh, but don't leave it outside where it's gonna get rained in because then it'll just overflow and make a mess. But so what you do is to make it real handy is right where you're gonna be hanging up all your tools, then you just give this a plunge in the sand, work it out. Same with your little hand tools. You just give them a plunge in there just one time, knock off the, off the uh, sand a little bit, but look, look at that. You get a nice coating, a thick, heavy coating of oil on them. Um, it doesn't take time. You don't have to get a rag and get it all over your hands. You can just have it handy right there. And as you go by, just give it a, give it a, a shove in there or give it a, give it a stick, knock it off and you have your tools protected. These are for your, you know, your, your yard and garden tools, you know, rude tools. You don't want tools. You do this to stuff like screwdrivers, stuff you're going to have your hands on, but it, it does work good for this, this sort of thing.